Hi students! Back today with a reading lesson practicing for week 5 of our distance English class. This reading will go along with the afternoon homework packet. Um, if you don't have the homework or you are not a student in my distance English class, no problem. Follow along with your notebook. Um, write down any new vocabulary that you learn. Um, make sure that you put that vocabulary into a sentence because that repetition, that practice, is what helps the new vocabulary to become fixed and stay in your mind. This is the afternoon reading, which means it's slightly easier vocabulary level. After listening to this story, you can always go over to the morning reading, which is a slightly more difficult level, and push yourself a little bit. Let's jump right into our story. Adding eyes to self-driving cars creates a sense of safety for humans. This article was published in the Washington Post, September 10th, 2018. Companies are trying to build self-driving cars that do not need human drivers. Building a self-driving car is very difficult. It involves lots of new technology. The biggest challenge, though, has nothing to do with fancy technology. The hardest part about building self-driving cars is creating human trust. When people cross the street, they often make eye contact with car drivers. They want to know that the driver sees them. Then they feel safe to cross in front of the car. A self-driving car needs to recreate the same sense of safety. Surveys show that many people are still afraid of self-driving technology. In response, car companies like Jaguar Land Rover have hired scientists who are experts in human behavior. These experts are studying how vehicle behavior affects human confidence in new technology, according to the company. The scientist's solution is fake eyes. The eyes are large and cartoonish like the plastic goggly eyes used in art projects. Recording trust levels. The eyes have been fitted to self-driving vehicles known as intelligent pods. The eyes seek out people walking nearby before looking directly at them. The look tells people that the pod sees them. Then the person knows the vehicle plans to remain still so they can pass. The engineers recorded the human subject's trust level before and after they interacted with the pods. They wanted to see if people had enough confidence in the vehicles. So far, more than 500 people have interacted with the expressive pods. However, the company has not released details about the study. It's second nature to glance at the driver of the approaching vehicle before stepping into the road, Pete Bennett said. Bennett helps develop new transportation technologies at Jaguar Land Rover. Understanding how this translates in tomorrow's more automated world is important. Other workplaces have applied eyes to robots as well. Baxter is a robot that builds things like cars. It has a tablet-like face with eyes. The eyes change to send messages to humans. For instance, its eyes will look sad if it is broken. People are also afraid of riding in self-driving cars. The American Automobile Association, or AAA, studies roads and accidents. It asked people how they felt about riding in driverless vehicles. More than half of U.S. drivers are afraid to ride in a self-driving car. Getting more comfortable with driverless cars Male drivers and young adults trust the new technology the most. Only half of them said they were afraid to ride in a fully self-driving car, according to AAA. The group wants car makers to teach people about self-driving transportation. Human mistakes actually cause almost all car crashes. However, many drivers still consider their driving skills better than average. They are nervous about handing control over to a machine. 
The number of people who are afraid to ride in a self-driving car is decreasing, though. Americans are starting to feel more comfortable with the idea of self-driving vehicles, said Greg Brannon. He oversees all research and automotive testing for AAA. Compared to just a year ago, AAA found that 20 million more U.S. drivers would trust a self-driving vehicle to take them for a ride. Other companies are also exploring how to send messages from self-driving vehicles to pedestrians. Self-driving cars have limits. Drive.ai is a new company based in California. It started a test program with driverless cars in the Dallas-Fort Worth, Texas area. The company's driverless orange vans take people around an office park where about 10,000 people work, eat, and shop. The words self-driving vehicle wrap around the vans. The vans have panels that display messages like waiting for you to cross. Company officials point out that self-driving cars have their limits. They do not understand everything. If a construction worker tried to wave the car on, for example, it would not know what to do. Jaguar Land Rover's intelligent pods have yet to drive in the real world. Instead, they are kept on the company's own property in England. How was this story for you? What new vocabulary did you learn? As always, put that new vocabulary into sentences Post those sentences in the comments below the video to let me know what you are thinking. Until next time, students. Bye.